All right, DJ Connect, we are back in action. Today we are talking stem crate, how to analyze your stems. I've been getting this question coming up every now and again uh, about people saying that they're having problems with their stems. Sometimes the stems aren't loading. Um, what I have heard is it's probably people streaming off SoundCloud, but we're going to dig into it right now. So stay tuned. We're talking stems, analyzing stems. We out here. Let's jump over to Serato. All right, so this is what you're going to see once you get into Serato. You're just going to hit this cogwheel up here. This is the way that I run stems. I don't use the stem crate. I just load stems as the song loads, like the analyze during stems. So come here, DJ preferences, first tab, and then halfway down the page, you're going to see here. Analyzing stems on song load will speed up stem playback time, but will also increase computer load and may have a performance impact. So th that's the way that I do it. My computer's brand new. Like I have no worries about my laptop crashing or anything. I just do analyzing stems on load. That way I'm not keeping extra files and stuff on my DJ computer. At home, I don't really care. Like I can definitely do this. It does say that if you put them into the stem folder, it's gonna make them sound better as well. When I use it, I'm only using analyze stems on song load. So maybe we'll see that it does sound better as well. Uh, and then I was asked about SoundCloud. So we're going to pop SoundCloud up here. Uh, so first thing you're going to see here is your stem folder. Serato stems, add songs to the stems crate to prepare and store stems on your laptop. Stems will be available as soon as the song is loaded, but can take more disk space. So on my DJ laptop, I don't do this. I'm not using stems enough live that it would matter, but this is probably a good thing to do if you have a few songs that you use all of the time with stems. This would be a good idea to actually analyze them beforehand with the stem folder, which is right here in your crates. It's right here. Um, so next thing you would go, you'd find some of your music. Uh, and you would come in here. Let's just, we're just gonna pick a bunch of music right here. We're gonna see how long this takes. Uh, you're, now you have like 20 tracks that you want as stems. You're just gonna take it from your crate here, bring it over to your stem folder, and drop it in. So now you're gonna see they're all loaded here. Um, I would assume that they're done. Uh, let's just pop something open. Uh, looking at the waveform, this is like definitely an older track. Probably not the best bit rate quality, but we're going to see how this sounds. We're going to give it a play here. Oh, we're going to jump over to stems here and let's check it out. I'm going to take some stuff off. I don't want to get hit with copyright. Alright, sounds good. Good to go. That's all good. Uh, let's check another one track here. Uh, and you should, they, like, everything should be ready. Yeah, you can see right away everything's already done. Um, quality wise, like, it sounded really good to me last time with the new stems. Like, it sounded absolutely incredible. Oh, it looks like it's still building out a little bit. Or maybe it's just buffering that section. I'm not, I, like, I don't know the process of how it works, but it was probably just a little buffer there. Um, so let's check out this track. Let's see if it sounds any better too. Damn, about to get drunk. Totally down. I need can beer. Pull it to the side and invite it to cheers. Pull up a chair, niggas. Sounds good, sounds good. A little bit of like digitization in there, but like it sounds pretty good, pretty good. Swear no drama. Prepare for a player who working with a monster. I ain't got time to waste, let's fit. And that's it for this video. All you have to do is you get your music, you find out where all your music's at, uh, and then you pull it in there and it's good to go. Yeah, looks like it's uh, ready. It's Missy. Radio play me all the time. Right, Mom? Damn. Remember when light was in love with Sam? I came through because of rock. I'm, I'm, I'm Missy. I'm Missy. I'm Missy. I'm and that's it. So the only other question I had was with SoundCloud. Uh, and it looks like 
you have to pay for SoundCloud Go. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing that in this video. Um, it is really important for you as a DJ to like download music. I know that streaming will be something in the future. But if you're looking to become a professional DJ and you want to be playing out there, you need music that you own. We cannot rely on streaming right now anyways. I'm sure in the future it will definitely be a viable option. But I'm assuming that because you're like downloading the music off SoundCloud, there's an issue with the stems. It's either not downloading right or maybe it's against copyright. I don't really have the answer to that. Uh, but I would assume that it really has something to do with you not having music. So what I recommend to you is really get out there, start downloading music, start building a library. It's going to serve you so much in the future because having a library is half of the job of being a DJ. It's just digging for music, finding that best music, finding the music that you love, building crates. Like that is what makes a sick DJ. Not, not the skill so much. Like skills are obviously important. But that's what makes a sick DJ is just like knowing your music in and out, being able to rock a crowd. So let's go. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're looking to take your DJ career to the next level, the DJConnect.com, our mastermind is next week. Join in right now. Don't miss out on the mastermind. It's going to be fire. Let's go.